1967, the image of an unknown creature was captured on 954 frames of 16mm film in Northern California, at a tributary known as Bluff Creek. The creature was large and hairy, with an ape-like face, and was thought to be female. It stood upright, and was said to have been at least six feet tall. What transpired after left a significant mark on pop culture still felt till this day, decades later. It was Patty. Or at least that's what the locals called the creature. Her debut on film caused an uproar, and spurred interest in the search for a Bigfoot. However, the film shot by Robert Patterson and Robert Gimlin that fateful day, only brought to the surface what had been culminating in the depths of our collective unconscious for a millennia. Indigenous tribes of British Columbia called the creature Sesquik, meaning wild man, and the term was later anglicized to one of the famous monikers of the creature, Sasquatch. In their stories, passed through the generations, these wild men were not feared, but respected as they trod between the fine line of beast and man, while making the surrounding forests their domain. The Sesquik were not ones to avoid, but to accept, as some believed them to be heralds of personal truths. As Europeans colonized the land, the stories never faded. On the contrary, more stories emerged as people encroached on sacred land. One famous encounter occurred around October 1835 in what is now the state of Texas. Southwest of Nacogdoches, a man traveled through the forest only to be confronted by a large ape man, covered in wild hair, with small needling eyes, and, large broken rows of teeth. And unlike most contemporary sightings, this one had a specific addition. He could talk. The creature beckoned him to abandon his commitment to Texas independence deeming it a lost cause. And upon delivering its message to the man, the creature spread upon the wind like the morning steam swirls off a frog pond. Shaken, but unrelenting, the man disregarded its message and proceeded to fight at the Alamo months later. That man was none other than Davy Crockett, the legendary frontiersman who notably lost his life at the Battle of the Alamo. This account was taken from a letter addressed to Abner Bergen, a colleague of Crockett's who had followed him to Texas, only to return to Tennessee as a means to avoid the political turmoil plaguing Mexico's northernmost territory. At the end of the letter, Davy Crockett attributed his encounter as a hallucination brought on by heat exhaustion or food poisoning. Nevertheless, whatever it might have been, came unexpectedly with a personal truth to its beholder, only to vanish once doing so. Maybe it was the manifestation of Davy Crockett's uncertainty, regarding the civil unrest felt in Texas, at that point in time. A reflection of the ugly truth. Or maybe it was something else, a biological entity whose existence had been noted by the people who first inhabited the continent. The living relics still reported about till this day, Bigfoot. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Thank you.